I don't know what happened to Joey, bro. That nigga was cold. <coughs> He's still cold. I'm saying, like, he's just not around. He forgot that he's around. <laughs> Mike, 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 I think his Mike. His last album was like 2017, bro. You said what? His last album I think was like 2017. Maybe he on the way. Maybe he, maybe he's got a a rebrand on the way. I think it's called like American Idol or some shit like that. <clears throat> you ain't fucking with no amateur. I think it said Mama couldn't afford no AAU. No tournaments. No tournaments. <laughs> shit was. Jay is chilling. Jay is chilling. That nigga said, I, I got two favorite rappers, Jigga and Hova. <laughs> uh, who's I looking for? Joey. Yep, 2017. Yep, 2017. Have you, are you sure you haven't missed it? Like, can you, let me, let me check Apple Music. He might have a drop. We miss drops. I don't think I would have missed him on Joey, bro. No AAU. No tournaments. Don't you lie. Don't you lie. Why would I lie? Play at me. <clears throat> What's this? No, I'm just fine. <laughs> yeah, he been on features and shit though. Check your mic. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Yeah. Mic check. Mic check. We good. <clears throat> Damn, this chair is low. <laughs> I feel short. Jay is chilling. Jay is chilling. What more can I say? We killing him. Uh, uh, look, before we end this campaign. Is this 40, 44? Episode 44. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> I am about to say, nigga, I lost it on this one. Because <laughs> um, we, had, we had Stackhouse, and we had the last one. Technical difficulties and shit. Yeah, man. Uh, welcome. It's episode 44 of the Rise and Grind podcast. Hey. We in the building. It's your boy, Roderick. Young Kari. Uh Chef Hoppy. He fresh off the flight, so. Yeah, this the boy somewhere sleeping. Yeah, man. Bring your ass. Catching up. But nah, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh we got quite a few drops. well, we had a couple of jobs. I'm not even gonna say quite a few jobs. Uh I just wanted to roll over the last week. Uh and we got a lot of news. Um how you feeling this week, Kari? About the music or just personal? Nah, just feeling this week. Oh uh, yeah, bro. It was a great week, to be honest with you, man. Uh, I just life is just good, you know what I mean. I'm just grateful, like I always say. You just came off a trip as well. Yeah, of course. We all just came off of trips, man. But uh, uh, just trying to think ahead, trying to think about my future, like we always talk about. Yeah, yeah. Just being grateful every day, man. Uh, a lot of reading, like I'm really starting to apply. Like, just the personal things that I uh, be reading in the books, you know what I mean? So, like, one thing that I just did, uh, actually just yesterday, <clears throat> and it turned my whole day around, uh, I forget what book, but it was just like, you know, you know how you fight how to get out of bed sometimes? And it's just, the longer you fight, like, the harder it becomes to get out of bed. You ain't gotta ask me. Yeah, I, I know you. <laughs> nigga fight but, to get uh, out of bed every day. <laughs> so, like, I jumped out of bed, because it was like, what I read, you know, like as soon as you your feet hit the floor, just like automatically claim the day to be great, automatically just be grateful. You know what I mean? So right. as soon as my feet hit the floor, bro, just what I did. I was like, it's gonna be a great day. I had a lot to do, so uh, I I already knew it was gonna be a great day, and I had just like a super amazing day. I was just grateful. Like at the end of the day, I was like, man, it really worked. So just trying to apply little things here and there, just grow more as a person. You know. That's what's up. Uh. Yeah, I'm really in a a, a stage right now of refocusing. <clears throat> just came off a of, just came off a of vacation, and I was reading on a vacation. I took books with me. I even started new books, but 
I didn't get to get that far into him. Like the vacation took over. I didn't get to read as much as I thought I was gonna read. Like I wasn't sitting around on the beach as much as I thought I was just gonna sit around. Like it was too much to do. But uh, now I came back. I'm just trying to get out of vacation mode, refocus, get back rocking. How was the trip though? Oh, the trip was fire. The trip yeah. was mad fire. Yeah, it, that's what Mom Duke said. Um, we was out in, in Mexico five days. Um, <clears throat> we was in a resort. It was on the beach. Uh, All inclusive, man. Absolutely, <laughs> bro. Uh, but I was rocking with the liquor and everything. But this is when I realized, nigga. I know what the ladies be talking about now with the bottomless mimosas and shit. Oh uh, yeah, no. bro. The champagne they have, they had the strongest of the strongest champagne, nigga. I was on there basically the whole time. I was drinking liquor too, but um, was you drunk off the hoe? Uh, every day, <laughs> every day, and they had it in the lobby, so you could just come in and go as you please, get more to drink. Drunk the entire time. Five days straight. Uh, that's the life. I was at least tipsy five days straight, that's but drunk at least one point a day. Yeah, we we went and got massages. They had a whole spa. Yeah, it just, shit was shit was crazy. They had that's different cool. kind of like it was uh, restaurants inside the resort. They were all inclusive, so no no charge, nothing. They had like uh, rooms for working out, rooms for suites, rooms for yeah, everything. Wow. They had a uh, upstairs deck with a infinity pool. They had infinity pools. It was on the beach. The shit was lavish. I had them in lavish. What uh, what what book you reading right now? Uh, or right books, now you say it's you the more than one. The um, uh, loopholes of real estate. That's Gary Sutton, and then the one back here that I just started uh while I was in Mexico. But I didn't get too deep into it. It's a uh, bigger pockets. It's a uh, book on negotiating real estate uh, deals. <coughs> live, and uh, live, live. I started the retire young, retire rich uh, by Robert on the way there. But that's too many at a time. So I was right. like, let me just stick with the ones that I was doing. The uh, the loopholes I'm almost done with. Right. But yeah, I've only uh, when I read, I've only like read two books at a time. I, say, yeah, I, I never like went above that that's why i wanted to just stop there retire young retire rich i just yeah want to keep two at a time yeah i'm about to actually start a new one uh i'm finishing up the magic of thinking big i'm almost done with it probably about i don't know 30 40 pages it's a good book yeah you got better books for the mind you got to pass those yeah i got you for sure but then uh so the next one i'm reading is called uh what i'm gonna read is actually on the way i ordered it earlier in the week it's called the Dream Giver, mm-hmm. um, and it's basically like it's supposed to tell the story of uh, every aspect that you hit on your like goal to be an entrepreneur. Uh, I heard something like that. Uh, it's about like this character, his name. I gotta just look it up. I saw quick. something called like the Go. Is it part of the Go Giver? Yeah, but it's I- like a. The Go Giver is definitely a, a another one. It's like a, I guess it's a spinoff. I don't know, but I think his name is like Ordinary. And let me just read it real quick, bro. Yeah, we yeah. get deep with it, y'all. I want y'all to know that. You know what I mean, so uh, yeah, it's a parable. the The character's name is Ordinary, who leaves the land of familiar. To pursue his big dream, right? So, but it's basically like tell you every step of what you're gonna go through as far as like all the ups and downs of being an entrepreneur. That's Just something up. I heard about, so I'm gonna definitely dive into it. I'm excited, man! I love reading now, but I read every day. Me too, every single day. <laughs> every bro. single like, day. This, it's crazy. I, there's really no excuse not to. And yeah. like, uh, I'm looking at those, like some of those pages that like. A lot of them I don't even follow. Do they just like when you had IG? Did they just show up on the mm-hmm. Explore for you now? Like, uh, could they be listening? They got like a oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. They got like the timeline of mm-hmm. things to do, like the the journaling in the morning, the meditating, and then the going out and actually doing your work. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. And then what you do at the evening? I'm doing all that. <clears throat> yeah, that's one thing that I'm working uh, working towards as far as like extremely developing a habit for each day. Yeah. So, so like. Whether it's uh, 
and when, once I start like my new position, or my new schedule, and all that, I'm gonna really like have it set because like right now my schedule is super crazy. All right. But like waking up early every morning to knock out my reading, so I can like it's basically just like winning. Each day I'm winning because I'm gonna have a habit and I'm gonna accomplish it every day no matter what. So you can really like never have a bad day, but even if you do, like you can always get back on track because you right. won. At the beginning of the day, you feel me? Like, that's how I'm, like, thinking about it. So, I'm going to wake up, like, super early and read and then do whatever I got to do, work. And then when I come home, whatever, I, like, every day going to be structured. You got to win in life, bro. Yeah, bro. I ain't that's think crazy. about it like the way the way you were thinking about it. Mm. I'm going 1-0 every day, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Um... You ready to jump into the? Mm-hmm. Ready to jump into the uh, the the music? Yeah, well, we can have a spiritual podcast, whatever you want, bro. I'm about to say we could really finish. <laughs> we, could, we could go all the way through. Yeah, it uh, matter to me. I'm about to say this isn't rise and grind anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this but, is a uh, grind and rise. On me, or just grind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no homo. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we can dive into it. I'm about to say let's do music. <laughs> <laughs> I pick music. Rich Forever 4 finally released. Uh, Rich the Kid, Famous Dex, Jay Critch. It finally dropped after after everybody waited like two and a half years, years, something like that, two years. Um, Rich Forever 4 is finally delivered by Rich Forever Music. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Well, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you, I'm feeling like it's this shitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of T.O.P. It's not Rich Forever 3. Obviously, we just talked about that. Uh, yeah. I didn't listen to it thoroughly. Um, I tried to just go through songs that I thought would sound good, and every time I clicked one, I didn't like it. I listened to them all. Um, there were a couple of them that was hard, like the two I played you. One was with Dex and uh, Jay Critch, and the other one was with uh, Rich and Jay Critch. Jay Critch is the glue to all of the, no, the tracks. Right. But as a whole, yeah. What'd you say last time? They really shit the bed yeah. with that. Uh, yeah, they did on themselves. There were some '83 Babies tracks that was on there. They weren't bad, but you know, I'm still waiting on a bunch of '83 Babies previews that they've been previewing. I know it's gonna be on their album. Of they course. wouldn't put it on that. So. Yeah, I knew. I knew 100% that they were going to save those songs that they've been previewing. Um, I know a lot of people were mad that there weren't more tracks with Aerie. Yeah. Uh, but, you know. I think this was, uh, I don't know what they wanted to do. With they this knew song. the fans wanted some shit, so they just was like, oh, what do we already have done? Yeah, they just threw up on it. Just, this nigga said they just threw up on it. No, nah, yeah, for real. shit suck. Uh, I... I don't know, bro. Like it's already been two years. Like it's not like you could have been feeling any more pressure than what you had been feeling. So like, why not take your time? Why not give us the best quality of music? You know that that's how I always think about they, things. They, the best quality of music was not right now. I don't give a damn. They should have done that last year. Like I don't. They did. They waited for no reason. They yeah. I, they waited because Rich had an album to drop. Yeah, I don't care about that. And I think Jay Critch When did Jay Critch's tape drop? They st- still Still No Sorry Niggas do it every day Yeah Much Much bigger rappers do it every day Um I didn't care for it at all man Uh Me either bro Oh well I told you didn't even listen to it all the way Uh Chance the Rapper Since you said Uh Since we gonna go into stuff you said You didn't listen to all the way Uh <laughs> <laughs> Chance the Rapper's the big day he did 118k first week, and he did the number two spot on the uh, the Billboard 200. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, uh, big I, day. There was a lot of backlash about the album. I think it was okay. Not not the album. I think the album was good. I think that people were expecting it to be acid rap. I'm not. I haven't listened to acid rap like that because I'm. Not the hugest Chance fan, but I mean, if we're going to compare it to uh, Coloring Book, there's a vast difference. And I think that the people that the mass 
majority that listen to Chance the Rapper listens to him for fun. But the album wasn't as fun as it is usually. Uh, he was more serious, way more serious. And it was okay, but I think he'll bounce back next album. Uh, so I listened to The Hot Shower. That was straight. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Hot Shower was straight. It's cool, but it's just, it's corny. You know what I mean? I thought like, that was like his style, though. I mean, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like, Chance is just corny. So, like, I saw a lot of backlash. They was like, <laughs> Tokyo's verse was harder than his <laughs> verse. I was like, damn, that's crazy. And, of course, people going to say the baby's verse was good. But, uh yeah, I'm just not big on Chance like that either. Uh, <clears throat> I was more excited before the album got here. I don't know what it was. Like, when the album dropped, it was the because he was tardy. That's what it was. Like, that should be pissing me off. So, like, it took him. It didn't drop till, I mean, it dropped Friday, but it didn't drop till, like, noon the yeah, next it day. Yeah, dropped like, noon. That'd be pissing me off. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even, yeah, it took, it took something out of me. I didn't yeah. listen to it as soon as it dropped. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It took me it took me till like later on that night to finally listen to the entire album. Yeah. So but yeah, just never really been huge on chance not to take away from him. he's a great artist, uh obviously. Incredible artist. But I didn't even hear much about the album to even make like pull me to it. You know, I just didn't care no more. Uh social media didn't do it much justice, so Yeah. So I mean and I never really let them form my opinion. On things like I always, if it's something I really want to hear, I listen to it way before Regardless, I ever yeah. go to social media first to see what oh, they yeah, talk about. I always about. listen to the music before I yeah. get on social media. Cause like if you if you let it, bro, they will really form an, an opinion for you. For you, <laughs> like and you're seriously. going to it with like a whole yeah. predisposed disposition. <laughs> yes, bro. And then like you really miss out on good music. So Yo. yeah, I never do that. I've done it before, like pre, like long time ago, and it really like fucked me up. So I was like, "Yeah, I'm never doing that again." Like, if you, uh, that's why I had to go into like the Megatron and all that stuff mm-hmm. without looking at anything because you know how they do Nikki now, or you know how they do certain people now. Yeah, you'll go in there and be like, "Man, Nikki trash ass <laughs> for the fuck this verse up." Right, it could be fire. Like, is I, I like Megatron now, but people had it like that. Hell. Uh, but yeah, Chance the Rapper is uh, it was it was good. I I won't say it wasn't. I won't say it was okay. It was better than okay for me. It was a good album. It just differs in style from his other albums to me, which would be considered great. <clears throat> so he he did a hundred eighteen k first week though. Yeah, that's cool. And another thing that like I give Chance the benefit of the doubt is like he made another like he made a lot of these albums. On um, drugs, like on acid, he got two kids and a wife. Well, he got a, a child and another one on the way, and a wife now. Like, he, I'm not doing acid anymore, guys. I'm sorry. Some like, of you rappers in the game can learn from that. I was about to say, like, sorry, I don't, I don't do that shit anymore. So you might not get that music no more. You're not going to. Right? Yeah. So he smokes cigarettes now. Nah, he quit. Oh. Yeah, he quit cigarettes good. too. That's good. He quit that after uh, coloring book, but yeah, man, it's a it's a new it's a new day. So I guess, and this is technically still his very first album. So we'll get to see the the sophomore, mm-hmm. which is uh, what I guess really means it for for the artist, In even the though game, his, yeah. all his other albums were really albums before. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but oh well, man. Um, Lil Durk, Love Songs for the Streets Three. Yes, sir. You listen to that? Yep. I must say I didn't get the. I really kind of misstepped, and when I sent it through, I was just thinking it was a single, and uh, it was an entire tape. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I uh, super excited for Durk to drop. Like, like we've talked about on previous episodes. Uh, really started. I've always knew of Dirk and heard him before, obviously, but like really starting to like really like his music more and more each time I heard it. So. Yeah, he's been killing stuff this year. Well, all twenty eighteen, yep. uh, twenty nineteen, he'd be killing every verse. He was he was on a feature, so yep. I was like, all right, where is Dirk shit himself? All right, so I was excited when this dropped. Uh, 
I actually didn't listen to it all the way through till yesterday though. Um but He lived up to the hype? Yeah. Okay. In my opinion, bro. I, I just like his style now, you know. Yeah, what I'm I do saying? I do too, so I'm 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 gonna listen to it anyway, yeah. but I'm wondering right now, like am I'm fucking with this off the bat. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I showed oh, you all the oh. songs already, so like yeah. and that was that was just off of first listen. Most yeah. of them was just off of first listen. Uh I give it about a about a seven. That's what's up. Right now, you know what I mean? But um uh, And this is your first dark full length album you listening to? Like you mm, listened to? Nah, the one before uh forget the name of it. Sign to the Street Street. Oh State. yeah, yeah, yeah. I listened to that one all the way through. Okay. <clears throat> but uh Yeah, I forgot what I was about to say. Oh uh, it's heavily auto tune, obviously, you know that's dirt style. Right. But uh it sounds good to me. Like I'm not gonna take that away from him and say. It. But if you don't like that, then like, you're not you're gonna, then you're yeah, not gonna you don't enjoy like that. that. You're not gonna like it at all. But uh, it sounds good to me. Obviously, the the one I told you is my favorite. The Pride of You probably played it like 20 times. <laughs> Honestly, bro. And then uh, like I was telling you, it's a sex song with Nicki Minaj. So even like you were just talking about Nicki Minaj, I came in on my own. With that same mindset, like, uh, Nicki Minaj. Uh, yeah, it's Nicki. She, let me get this over with. Yeah, but when I listen to it, but I actually like it. It's a dirty sex song, but it go hard. Like, it go hard to me. That's the same way I came in with Nicki on Chance's album. And she had two features on Chance, and she killed them both. How, okay, because I forgot to ask. How did uh, Megan sound? Because I didn't listen. It was all right. It, it was, was cool. straight. Right. Like, Megan did, Megan did good. I didn't even mean to say, all right, Megan did good. Okay. Um, I but, forgot she was on the album. But uh, yeah, Nikki's shit was fire. And did I already? Did we already talk about Nikki and uh and Megan being on IG Live together? Mm-mm. Yeah, Nikki. I Nikki saw that. Megan was on IG Live together. You know, they coming down to Cali doing music, uh, yada yada. Yeah, I saw that. Um, you know, that was a ploy to get her on Cardi's side. I mean, to get her away from Cardi's side. You know. Now we rocking with. Now we rocking right. with Nikki. <laughs> Sister. Yeah, now you can't fuck her. You know that, right? <laughs> now you know you can't talk there, right? But uh, damn, we was talking about Dirk. Um, yeah, spend that though for real, bro. When you get a chance, I'm definitely gonna give that a listen today. <laughs> um, but the biggest drop, and this is what is the craziest thing to me, and I'm gonna get into like logistics of numbers in a second. Um, earlier this week, Drake put up one Instagram post one instagram post and let everybody know that he was dropping a care package of songs that have already previously unofficially been released but never to all streaming platforms a compilation of songs that he had done from i think 2009 to now uh that he was just gonna put together and have them put out uh and he did it through a care package and it dropped on friday He's set to do 120000 in the first week off of one post, bro. No promo. It's Drake. It's Aubrey, man. One post. You must not know Aubrey Graham. He posted it. I, I'm not sure. I think he posted it either. Was it the day I, before? I didn't see it. He posted it, I believe, on Thursday. Bro, if you would have <laughs> if you would have seen the way I panicked. When you sent the link. Nah, when Hop sent it to me, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, bro. He's got a whole new tape. That's how tonight, I feel, bro. T- tonight? I was like, what? But, but yeah, man. But as soon as I saw Dreams Money Can Buy, I said, what the fuck? I saw How About Now. I was like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> man, hell. Yes, sir. But, bro, I thought I wasn't going to like it. Um, before it dropped well I thought I wasn't going to care about it before it dropped because I was like man I've heard all of these songs right. but I haven't been able to get my hands on these songs I haven't been able and I don't like once these you forget about songs like this so mm-hmm. you don't just go searching for them on SoundCloud or any other like a uh, third party all the time so when that first one two three seconds of the song came on it was like oh my gosh bro mm-hmm. I'm going way back. Like, yeah. I haven't heard this song in years. I haven't heard this song in years. I haven't. Damn, bro, I forgot about this song. Like, it was ridiculous. 
they know Drake. They know strategic how to run a game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro. But nobody's ever done this before. Yeah, even because he threw the free spirit on there too. Yeah, the new track with Ross. So like, you nah, if you know the game, you know how things work. It's there's always uh, a plan. I'm gonna just keep it. The at free that. spirit that was new. I think that was old. What's the name of the, the new shit that they just dropped? Um, Gold Roses. No, nah, before that. Okay, money in the grave. I was, yeah, I was like, yeah, that one's all. That one's all. But okay, my fault. But anyways, still like, there's a plan behind this. Obviously, we're getting new Drake soon. You know, everybody knows that. Yeah. Um, but it was it was actually cool, bro. It was very cool. This was very cool. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people, we've seen it a lot recently when uh, a lot of like old mixtapes are getting back. I mean, are getting put on streaming services. That's nice. But, but we've never seen this. somebody throw together a throwback yes, compilation sir. of things that, bro. He's get he hit a lick really, mm-hmm. because he's mm-hmm. already given us these like take these old ass songs and pay me for it. <laughs> and we said, all right. <laughs> Okay, Drake. Stream. But yeah, it was cool. I was very excited to see the Jodeci freestyle. A lot of y'all niggas don't know about that Jodeci yeah. freestyle, boy. Uh, a lot of females <coughs> uh, were were hyped to see that Can I with, with Beyonce. Yeah, that, that uh, was fool. The girls love Beyonce and trust issues uh, and emotion. That's probably my favorite ones I was listening for. Um, I might have yeah. to spin this whole like I'm be spending this whole f- a, f- a minute from one to seventeen. I guess that's just the motion. Yeah, that was a fool. Trust issues. I feel like I'm thirteen. Absolutely, bro. And I I keep thinking about like that. And when I told you about uh, Wildfire, those are all songs, bro. When Drake was warming up for Take Care, like that summer was, and when he dropped Marvin's, the summer was was spooky, bro. That was a sp- Summer it was like the craziest. Summer time. eleven was a spooky ass time for for Drake, bro. It was a crazy time because you remember how many covers was like from the Marvin's room, bro. That song was everywhere. It was spooky, bro. Yeah, that for Drake, bro. I don't know if a promo has gotten that heated up for Drake since, bro. Bro, and that's that's back when <clears throat> Twitter was different. Yeah. So like. Oh, I can't even explain it, bro. <laughs> I can't even explain it. the way Twitter is now. You know, it's just it's, set up, it's shit. just it's just. Uh, but I remember like Marvin's room was all over Twitter. Everybody that do uh what was it the um cry if you need it was all over um it was all over everything. It was all everything. over Facebook. Everything, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't think he's had a I don't think he's had a promo run like that since. It was just different times, man. Niggas was excited to go to Best Buy boy. Bro, and that's when I remember you could go platinum quick now. But well Drake goes platinum quick as hell now. Not everybody can do that, right. but I remember he went platinum five weeks, and everybody was like, oh, shit. Like, it took him a whole year for a thing related to go platinum. He was like, bro, this nigga just went platinum in five weeks, bro. Yeah. Those was the times, bro. Jay. Uh, Jay's an animal. Eminem, 50, Wayne. Niggas going platinum in four or five weeks, bro. Like, I miss those times. Yeah, you miss, you miss, somebody, t- you miss somebody else. Do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kanye, my fault. I, I was like, do, was, do it. That was accident, too. Yeah, I was like, do it. Drake, Wayne. You want to throw T.I. and Luda in, too, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nah. My fault, G. Nah, you good. But uh, uh, one last thing the Jodeci freestyle. So, you remember. Uh, bro, yeah, I the, forgot to talk about that. Yeah, the, the shit that Cole caught from it but um uh, i didn't even notice i just looked this up like before i got here that they cut that part yeah, they out cut the line about it out obviously it was a smart move but uh yeah you know uh, people were like I, I thought like i saw people were mad i'm i don't know why they were mad like i understand it was it was a respectful move right um i i just think the people if you're mad you just wasn't around nah, for real yeah when like, that shit happened they really took like, the nigga took a hit it's like for real a hit and uh both like, of them they were like uh they got bullied into taking it out like well it's not really a bullying move like it's a respectful move what? to take it out it's a i understand like he was being he was being it was a word play yeah i know i understand the word play but yeah he could have removed it like i know i see they have no problem removing that i know they had no issue removing it right it wasn't even a question 
So, because they both had to apologize, not like Cole said it, and Drake apologized too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you just that was around the time people were losing deals. Like I remember Rick Ross had lost yeah. his entire deal for like he did some crazy. Yeah, shit, people though. were losing deals for saying things in their rhymes though. Mm-hmm. It was it was nasty. It was a different time. Like you obviously just wasn't around. Like that yeah. was big, bro. It was petitions getting signed. It like, was a big deal, bro. It was so, crazy. People were going to lose endorsements. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Ross, though. His was... <laughs> his was this nigga, a Reebok set. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, shit, anybody that nigga said, uh-uh. <laughs> that nigga shoe was on the uh, the assembly line. They pressed stop on that, huh? I mean, they said, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, where can I wing stop? All right. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't lose that. On me. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad he got a, a tape coming out soon. Uh, Port of Miami dropping, what, this Friday? Yeah. Port of Miami 2 dropping this Friday, man. Can't wait for that, bro. Um, We can go ahead and jump straight in the news. Do you want to wait on on the first one, or do you want to get into do that now? Yeah, you can go ahead, bro. Oh, man. All right, man. So the three-day trial has been three day. <laughs> <laughs> the three-day trial is over with ASAP Rocky. He's been found innocent on all charges. He walked, and uh, he is home back in the United States. Uh, he wasted no time leaving. He was released on Friday, left on Friday. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, for sure. He was he was allowed to leave even before his verdict. So that's I odd. Know. There must be no Sweden rules. Yeah, <laughs> but got up out of there. Uh, thank God. He's never going back. Uh, yeah. I honestly believe it'll be a long time before he even returns to uh, Europe. Mm, I don't know about that. I just want to go back to Sweden. Mm, I'm not. I'm not fucking leaving right now. Yeah, I feel you. Niggas is he still yeah. in the middle of his world tour? I don't know, but you know they do a lot of fashion stuff overseas. Like him, oh, Cardi, yeah, he's and a model. Them, so. How long is he? Uh, do you know how long his tour is? Mm-mm. No idea. Because uh. I wonder if he's gonna get back on stage. Where that boy Playboy Cardi at, man? He's got a tape dropping. Yeah, I know. I seen it. Uh, no features, right? Ain't that what he said? Yeah, he really fucked himself with that. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't, bro. Please don't do that. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Cash. <laughs> <laughs> Cash Cardi. I don't know. Is today? I guess today is uh, Bobby Schmurter's birthday. Ooh. He's coming home this year. Free Bobby. Either I think he's coming home by by the end of this year. Uh, That's crazy. Let's see. Oh well, bro, we can go on. We can go on. Yeah. Uh, Yo, I'm set. ready. I'm ready for the freestyle, bro. Which freestyle? ASAP. Give us some music, bro. Fresh out. You know what I'm saying? Drop some. Uh. He's not that type of artist, but it would be nice. But it'll set the streets off. What? This is his, this is his, not his back end because he's always in. This is ASAP's end into the mainstream rap game. This is it. Gotta come on some fire though. His album has to drop soon. He has to, like, this is like, this is like 21's album. Yeah. That last album wasn't it. No, but I'm saying, like, this is like when 21 was like like released if he would have dropped out no, yeah. or something like that but this this is gonna bring asap into the light donald trump was talking about him mm-hmm. fuck that nigga um <clears throat> if he drops an album quick it'll be a really really big deal yeah for sure but i'm just saying especially because his last album it wasn't that good to me and i'm i mean maybe i'm not a huge asap fan maybe it was to the real asap fans but the last album wasn't really that good so he can really like Capitalize. I don't even mean to the ASAP fans. I mean like even to the the white the the mainstream the mm-hmm. white the white audience because of his name. Like now, everybody's gonna tune into what he's doing. It needs to be fire. For sure. But uh, yeah, man. Um, speaking of uh, wide stream. Lil Nas X broke the record for the longest standing number one record of all time. You know. Yeah. Head ass. Yeah, we'll put it in there. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Um, now, I'm, I'm hoping that the, the remixes are done. I'm thinking all the remixes are over. 
not for his not for his other songs but okay you think there's more old town re- like nah. yeah i i'm <laughs> how's your plan thank you for the number one um now i'm i'm hoping i'm knowing that he wants to rest <laughs> Yeah, I want that song to rest. He wants. I know that he wants to rest though. Like I know that they're giving him that number one. All right, he he could probably take a vacation now. Nah, bro, for real, it's like four months of one song, just over and over. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's. I mean, if that's what it takes, he yeah. really wanted that that number one all time. He was able to get the the number one record of all time with his very first commercial okay. record. It's unheard of, obviously, but uh, absolutely unheard of. And he did it. Uh, is this a country track? Yeah. Or is this the remix for sure? Because that's what they promote. It's a country, country track, bro. Country it's, rap is okay. It's also rap as well. So like he's, yeah, incredible, incredible. Lil Nas X, uh, salute for sure. Um, Blueface has a tape. It's dropping. Legal. It's dropping on Friday. Um, I'm not sure what to expect. I think he said a song called Disrespect While I was on there. I think that's the one about his mom and his sister. Yep. Um, that's this this literally the the name of the song. It's disrespectful. <laughs> I'm just let you know right now, it's gonna be the best song on the tape. Everything else is gonna suck. That's fucked up. We'll see. Like bro, like do you really do you think they're cool behind the scenes and he's just making bread? His people. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about right now, cause that shit was really like weird. Yeah. But eventually, yeah, cause bro, he bringing the bread home. They don't eat unless he eat. I was just thinking like maybe maybe they understood that and like they don't yeah. want the fizz to go down. So like we need a big we need a big story. Nah. I'll, sometimes I just be thinking this rap game some soap opera shit. <laughs> I do too, bro. Cause it'd be a lot of weird stuff happening. Like it's just a lot of like. I got to be able to decipher what's yeah. actually going on out here. It's the new era, bro. Like, we never had things like this growing up. Niggas is really out here faking. Like, that's why I be like, yes. what's real? Who's 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 the real deal? No, it's true, bro. But that's why just, I don't even follow a lot of these niggas' lives like that anymore. I just got to hear about it. Yeah, but it's just, it's so different because of what we grew up on. and Because these niggas was just always, like, and... I, Things happen, I guess, without a lot of police nowadays. Everything that we would hear back in the days, niggas getting arrested. Mm-hmm. All right, niggas got this. Niggas got arrested. This nigga doing time. This nigga doing this. This nigga got caught with this. Right. Just, I mean, I mean, social media wasn't just as big as it was back then. Yeah. You wasn't recording every single thing. Or maybe the shit was a fairy tale back then, too, and we didn't know. Maybe. <laughs> but we just, we, yeah, we didn't know because it wasn't put out there. Now everything is out there. Niggas. Uh, record themselves doing everything they gotta record themselves making a response to yeah. somebody you know like it's literally but like it's just way more kitty now like if you yeah. think about like like think about like the Lil Wayne cases like yeah. the the Murder Inc. case nigga uh, Free Weezy T.I. cases like it's just not it's not like that no more nigga like Niggas I, I gotta really, really be able I gotta really be able to find out what y'all right. are doing right. but it's on IG Alright. <clears throat> but I guess that's the new platform. Anyways, we'll see how that tape sound on Friday though. I'm not looking forward to it, I don't care. <laughs> I wanna yeah, hear the disrespectful bro. song, but like oh well. Yeah, let me play this little blue face. Not blue face, uh Alright, if I can get into my damn iPad. I'm gonna play the Kodak freestyle. Kodak dropped a freestyle, uh and it came off a little disrespectful to a uh, young Miami in Southside. He said he was, I think he said he was going to punch her in the stomach. She's pregnant with a Southside's baby, though. So, you know. Weirdo. Here's the, uh, the freestyle from Kodak. The subject to monitoring. Hang up to the boy. Oh, you No, I'm up. I, NFL, niggas for life. Never forget loyalty. I was in the projects nickel and diamond and shit. Them niggas hate to see me shine and switch my grind and got rich. The Daryl crashed the wood, I hot out on the eye with the stick. Everybody love to see me shine and know what I went through for this. These bitches love to hear me rhyme, cause ain't gon' lie when I spit. Yeah, I was just in Lauderdale, I'm putting that fire on the bitch. I'm 
me in the can in Crap Boy Yard, and you know, my nigga here real on my cell, we throwing a party, and you know, I don't do no plan on getting me started, and you know, say I'm the little nigga in the bed, but ain't no harm in here. You know. Man, the toilet paper tore up, I brought some charm in here. You know. I got the club wall to wall, I seen Carmen in here. I got Gucci Trout and all the yellow 88 swing, and I bought Young Miami Arena, she bought an 808, baby. When I see me hit that bitch on her stomach, the way I keep this shit too real, they say I'm fucking up my money. But I feel nigga, anybody ran it. Cause when I bet this bitch, I be recording. And, uh, Southside, <clears throat> he definitely responded. He woke up the next morning, you know, heard the, heard the freestyle, and he had this to say. Hey, 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 somebody said Kodak suck a dick. How about that? Then get up out of jail first, pussy. All right. <laughs> Ooh, um, I hate that. That's lame to me, bro. I don't what, know. Like telling nigga out of jail, that type shit. Like yeah, why? Like I just, but like, like we were just talking about the last topic. It's like now, social media. It's like they feel like they have to do that. You don't have to. You, you don't, don't really don't have to say you anything. Don't. And niggas think they pussy if they don't say anything. Oh like you God. really, you don't have to say anything. Nigga, I'd be the coolest rapper, bro. I swear to God. Niggas would fuck with me so hard. But, like, there's a time and place for everything. Like, I've seen, like, the realest niggas we've seen, they don't, they, they, it's not all the talking. It's really not. It's not all the rah rah, except for really Pac. Yeah. Pac was really the only nigga with the rah rah. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was, that was cool, too. Lame. But, you know, man, it's today. Yep. Um, I don't even know if Kodak is set for it. Do you know when his trial is set for at all? Kodak not getting out of jail. To if he if he gets out of jail, it's gonna be next year. Let me see where this. He trial about to sit all twenty nineteen, bro. He got like three super charges. He's not getting out. Let's see this. He was denied a bail back in May. Long time so. The trial for the Miami based charges is believed to occur this summer. So he should be going to trial probably this month. Okay. <laughs> hey, free to free to project, baby, man. Yep. Free bail. But he still got other charges to still Attest to like I just I, I don't know. Yep. Free bill. <laughs> you know. Uh but I don't know why I got off of Lil Nas X. We could have snowballed into the fact that uh Lil Uzi Vert, he was uh he was caught in the car because uh Lil Nas X had sent him a DM asking him to get on the Panini remix and it was like he left him on red. And he was like, No, no, I ain't leave him on red. He was like I sent him a heart back. He was like, I li- he was like, I loved it. And he was like, so you're going to do the track? He was like, yeah, I'll do the track with him. Look. That's a perfect uh, song for Uzi. Where the hell is Uzi? Sleep. What happened to the summer track? Like, what happened to the summer tape? What happened to this? What, we what? did forget all about Uzi, bro. All about we it, bro. We talked about it. Nobody wow. said a thing. That's crazy. Uzi, what happened, bro? Shit. Niggas gonna be caring, bro. Is he with Rock now? I saw him post a video. He said that Rock Nation bag way different. Oh, maybe. It was real quick. But. Let's see. Yeah, I haven't. That's interesting if it's true. I haven't heard anything like that, bro. Yeah, that's what's up. Every, everybody, hey. Everybody going to the rock. Because it's Jay, bro. Like, he don't mess around. He he's going to give I'm you. I'm going to say he's getting niggas their money. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, but yeah, man. Speaking of niggas getting out of jail, uh, young boy, he's, I guess he's been dropped on charge. He's going to be released on August 15th, man. Yay. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm putting my round of applause in there, <laughs> White B. We're going to have a whole tape on the 16th. For sure. <laughs> Might have 24 songs on it. <laughs> like, nigga, did you go to sleep? He's going inside today. 
Nah, he, he doesn't sleep. He yeah, got them know. jiggas in a, in a black. <laughs> um, jiggas in a black. Boy, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. I think I had like one more topic to talk about. Did I miss anything? Nah. Did we miss anything? Um, Whack 100. He was getting into it with YG. Another thing I could have snowballed with when I was talking about Blueface. Bleed him. So, yeah, bleed him. Um, he basically got on Twitter. He called him out. He said, one thing I can respect is this. Blueface came into the game Cripping The game came into this game Pyroing Mozzie came into the game Blooding Some of you niggas Was wearing skinny jeans And dancing without a gang slogan Coming at your mouth Until you got enough money To buy a set uh, He said Wish a nigga would Say a word I'll embarrass the fuck Out of a nigga Playing with me Enough is enough If it's on Let it be on and YG said, you should have had me, big gangster OG Paru Godfather. <laughs> uh, but, you know, just a little, another social media uh, right. argument ensued. How you feeling about it, Kari? Do you think there's Whack. truth? I mean, yeah. Obviously, when YG first came into the game, he wasn't on no gang. He was dancing and wearing skinny jeans, but... What's the point? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like that's why, just always my question. Why are we doing this right now? Yeah, just like what? What's the point? What's the big deal about it? Why somebody always feel like they gotta call somebody out on something or blah blah whatever? I don't know, man. And just like I said, I think uh, the majority of the game now is not what it says it is. So like, what's the point in calling out one person? Yeah. What's What's the justice being done? And then like it's it's all over with next week. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not even talked about no more next week. Nothing's gonna happen from it. That's why. Like, uh, what are we gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> What's gonna happen? I appreciate it though. Y'all y'all uh, give us you know that's yeah, the reason why the show goes on. I say, this shit is, <laughs> it's very entertaining, right? It's shit like WWE. I mean, <laughs> but other than that, y'all some big dummies. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's there's some smart ones in the game, but course is the game is the game different like are there two games is there a fake game and a real game mm. is it the same like is the is the game that jay-z and cole and and the yays and those people is the game that and drake's and them well i don't know are mm-hmm. the game that the the those people in no. in the same other it's the same game with just different individuals which game is drake in I have to think about it. I don't know, bro. He on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, do you have a song of the week this week? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say my song of the week is gonna be called Yucatan. That's by Kevin Gates. That Yucatan. that whole I just got a hold of uh, Kevin Gates' last tape because I really didn't give it a listen. Uh, bro, fire, fire. I'm gonna play that after. Man, uh, Winter Time, uh, Corday album. Lost Boy, the first track. Okay. Um, I'll go hard. I heard a lot of people talking. You said that was the the intro? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard a lot of people talking about that. Uh, but yeah, man, I forgot to say he dropped 30K on that uh, on that album. It's but, sad. you know, good for him. That's good for a first album, especially in the rap game. Uh, but uh, I think that's going to be it. Thanks for rocking with us. Uh, make sure y'all watching us on YouTube, subscribing on YouTube, subscribing on Spotify. Apple, everything, man. Thanks for listening. It's been your boy, Roger. Young Kari checking out. All right, man. Episode 44. We out, man.